Illinois law enforcement has found the green Acura seen in this video right behind 31 year old Catherine Altagracia Guerrero de Agosibifas car right before she was carjacked last week. And they believe the car could be connected to a murder in Orange County. West Coast Haley Crumbleholm explains how deputies were able to connect the dots. The Seminole County Sheriff says they found the green Acura when it was towed from an Orange County apartment complex over the weekend. And the car is actually the only one of its kind and color registered in the state of Florida, which helped reveal a connection to another case. But there's actually three cases going on here as an Orange County deputy was arrested after he started trying to look into the carjacking, apparently on behalf of the victim's family. It's either connected or it's a heck of a coincidence, right? I Seminole County Sheriff Dennis Lemma said Monday that the first time authorities came in contact with the green Acura was when it was towed from an Orlando apartment complex last month. Last week, the sheriff says the tow truck driver that towed it, 39 year old Juan Luis Centron Garcia, was murdered in the Taft area of Orange County just one day before the kidnapping of Aguas Vivas. They believe the car was also at the Orange County murder scene. At the scene, there are more than 100 rounds, but a good percentage of those rounds on the ground are 10 millimeter. The gun used in the murder uh, of our victim that we found burnt up in the vehicle in Osceola County. The sheriff said as of Monday, Aguas Viva's husband is not being considered a person of interest. So I've described the husband as cooperative. Uh, uh, quite frankly, I think he knows a lot more than what he shared. Right. But again, he described the husband as cooperative, so much so that he handed over his phone for forensic examination. We would not have known about the Orange County deputy, at least not yet, if, if he did not do that. That Orange County deputy, according to the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, is Francisco Estrella. Um, held on eavesdropping and illegal interception of communication. Estrella is facing five felony charges after they say Aguas Viva's husband contacted Estrella's wife, a childhood friend, and asked to get information about the Seminole County detective that called him about his wife's kidnapping. Here's where she lives. Here's the detective's name. Here's a, a recording of our conversation. So there, he's feeding all that information back. Why? We're going to find out. In Seminole County, Haley Crumble home, West 2 News. And West Street spoke to a local professor of forensic studies about how to protect yourself in cases like this one. He says to be aware of your surroundings, make your first call, beat to 911, and if you are being followed or hit, keep driving.